Okay, we want to discuss with you now about um, summer grasses, shade, um, uh, Bermuda, and zoysia. So as you can see here, uh, we got a tree, um, maple tree, or we have oak trees. We're in Cumming, Georgia, and you can see what it does to the Bermuda grass. Um, we see this under trees, which we'll show some pictures of that. Or when the houses are close together, we also see it there. Um, we have options that we can do to fix this for you. Um, sometimes you can just pine straw it. It really depends on your budget. Um, we see this a lot here in this area. We just want to make you aware of it and let you know that we can help you solve this problem. Just You don't want a muddy uh, pit between your, your neighbor and you, and we would love to help you out in fixing this area. Um, Bermuda grass, uh, there is a tiff tuff, a tiff gran, uh, Zeon zoysia, um, emerald zoysia is okay uh, in some cases, but there are some of those turf grasses that can survive in four hours of sunlight. In some cases, some of the zoysias can be okay in three hours if all of the soil and the light is to perfection, but you really need a minimum of four hours of sunlight for these to survive if you're a do-it-yourselfer, but um, we just want to give you some education on this and to choose the right grass for these areas, but in a lot of cases, the grass will still thin out and die on you over time. You just want to make sure that if you have a lot of shade that does not get four hours of sunlight, that the grass is going to die on you, and we just want to help you through this, make you aware of it. Um, time your daylight that you have around your trees in between your houses. Make sure you get four hours of sunlight before you spend the money on sod. And uh, we're happy to help you this if you need to stick.